Hello and welcome back to the Pro Evolution Master League with Aston Villa. We're in the Premier League, but today we're bringing you FA Cup action against Chelsea. So as you can see from the standings, we're currently in 11th place with 9 points, which isn't too bad. But Tammy Abraham is leading the goal scoring charts, joint top with Olivier Giroud on 5, Lukaku's behind them on 4. So uh, he started the season very, very well. If we just go and look into how we've been getting on then... So, we've had some interesting fixtures. The first day of the season, we lost 2-0 to Liverpool. That was the last episode. Then we went and beat Stoke City 3-1. We absolutely demolished them. They just could not handle us at all. A very good performance. Then we followed that up with a 1-0 win against Sheffield United in the first round of the FA Cup, which is good. We progressed. We got further than last year, which is good. Then we played Man City and drew 1-1 away at the Etihad and... I'm not joking, this result was totally down to Jan Sommer. Uh, Timothy Weir scored another overhead or bicycle scissor kick sort of thing. If I've got the clip, I'll edit it in now. If I haven't, there'll be a link in the description to my Twitter status where uh, I put a gif of it. So yeah, what a finish that was. Um, and then we played Chelsea and drew 2-2 at Villa Park. Now this was so annoying. We were 2-0 up, we were dominating, we were cruising. They started Rob Green in goal. For some bizarre reason. And then Eden Hazard. Uh, Rubus Loftus-Cheek scored in the 90th minute. And Eden Hazard scored in the 95th. To make it 2-2. Very annoying. And then Aston Villa. We played Arsenal at um, Villa Park again. And uh, we took the lead. And then Arsenal absolutely battered us. And Jan Sommer again kept us in this one. And we got a respectable 1-1 draw. Then we played Everton at Goodison Park. And we won 2-1 which was very good. Um, they haven't really made too many signings Everton. But we played pretty well. We nicked it in the 84th minute I think it was. Uh, with a Timothy Weir goal. Uh, sorry, Tammy Abraham goal. And it was very, very good. And today we're in the FA Cup second round v Chelsea. And then away to Brighton and Hove Albion. So Brighton. But uh, yeah, so it should be two interesting games. That 2-2 draw with Chelsea is quite the fixture that s sticks in my throat a little bit. Because they didn't really deserve it. Uh, they've got a player on their team called Ilian. That's actually Willian. But something's gone wrong when I've updated the file. So I need to go in and change that. So the next time we play, obviously they've signed Van Dijk and Sacco as well. They've got Digne, who they bought from Everton, 7-4. Uh, other than that, the team looks pretty much the same. They start Morata ahead of Giroud. But uh, yeah, we're lining up like this in a 4-4-1-1 formation. Slightly changed, slight change. Um, this is how we're lining up. So Sommer starts in goal. Munir comes in at right back. Retsos, who is our new loan signing on deadline day, comes in. Two and Zabi partners in at centre-back and Tierney at left-back. Sergio Sampa and Cabizon start in the middle. El Ghazi on the right. Bonlahor gets a start on the left. And then Vitinho starts in behind Tammy Abraham. We did bring in another player on deadline day as well. We brought on Lucien Bonnet, who is absolutely incredible. Him and Munir will be fighting for the right-hand side. Munir's on loan. Lucien Bonnet is a permanent signing. So we've already sort of got the replacement in for Munir when his loan expires as well. Everybody else that we brought in started pretty well, to be honest. We've been having some good results. Uh, on the bench, we've got quite a young bench. Vakutre, Andre Green, Kuzmin, Collins, Rossi, McGinn and Timothy Weir all make the bench for the cup game. I'm not too fussed about the FA Cup. The chairman isn't fussed about it either. But uh, hopefully we can go and get a good result. So here we are at Stamford Bridge getting ready for this game in the FA Cup. It's Aston Villa recently promoted to the Premier League versus Chelsea who have won the, ch the championship as early as, what, four years ago? Uh, they won it. The Pride of London is what they're calling themselves in this game. The flags are out. The ball is on the centre spot. And let's get this game Underway and Morata kicks off, goes back to DeFore. Chelsea are going to look to dominate possession and play, push their fullbacks right out. We know what they did. Loftus Cheek was a thorn in our side in the league game, but hopefully we can have Sergei Samper in there to just marshal him and keep him under control. But for now, let's get into the action. So Sacco robs Abraham up front, lovely ball over the top to Eden Hazard. Oh, what an effort that was from Hazard. Looked to take Sommer by surprise and goal. Has, uh, Abraham here tried to just keep the ball. Lost out to Sacco, who dinks a lovely ball over the top to Hazard. And then on the volley, whoa, what an effort. What an effort from the Belgian. And he applauds the pass from Sacco as well. And it's a, uh, wow, start of a million miles an hour from Chelsea. Tierney finds Sergei Sampa up to Vitinho, around the corner to Abraham. Just tried to go back to Cabezon, who will get there first, into Sampa. Sampa to Abraham, to Vitinho who's tackled, 
by Van Dyke. Sampa keeps it alive. Goes into Abraham ahead. Oh, tried to just put it around the corner. Comes out. Sergei Sampa with a hit. And it's a good save from Kepa in goal. Kepa Alazabergalen. No, Gio Moreno. Gio, I can't even say your name. Gio, I'm going to call you. Um, you're going to love my pronunciation of the goalkeeper's name. Kepa Alazibianga, I think. We'll call him Ke Kepa. Kepa the keeper. Keeper the Kepa. Whatever you want to call it. Now, El Ghazi. Now, Aston Villa aren't a very tall team. So what I'm going to try and do here is actually manufacture. Right, now we've taken Van Dijk out of the equation there, which is quite sensible. So now we'll whip it in. We go to Munir against William on the edge. And El Ghazi, oh, he tried to just knock that back and got the pass all wrong. Morata holds it up, but he's tackled well by Cabezon. And Villa look look up for this game, which is good. Two and Zabi into Sampa. Sampa round to Vitinho. Looking for El Ghazi, who just gives it away to Hazard. That's not the play you want to give it to. And then a professional foul is given away, but the referee plays advantage on Williams through. He just had to cut back, and that slowed him down and allowed Tuan Zabi to get in. As uh, Azpilicueta tries to dink it in behind, Sommer's off his line pretty quickly. And Villa just about hold on. It all stemmed from El Ghazi's poor passing. And Morata could be through. Eden Hazard's played him in. He's on the edge of the box. Great save from Jan Sommer, who celebrates it with a fist pump. And, uh, yeah, it's just a terrible pass here from Cabezon. Trying to go out wide to El Ghazi. And uh, Morata put through with an early ball from Hazard. Could have squared it to William, but Jan Sommer makes a great flying save. And this is what happened last time we played the big guns, really. I mean, Jan Sommer kept us in it. As William puts the balls in. Tierney v Hazard. Tierney wins that header. And then Agbon Lahore just looked to get this up to Abraham. He's going to have to try and hold this up. Brings in Cabezon to play. And uh, Aston Villa hold on. Tierney up into Vitinho. He's lacking a few options, but uh, it's just a bit of ping pong in the middle. Willian breaks for it to Morata. Morata to Tierney. Uh, to Tierney? No, I'm controlling Tierney. Tierney up to uh, Willian up to Morata too. And Zabi hasn't got the strength, but he did enough just to put Morata off. And Sommer goes for a quick throw out to El Ghazi. To Munir. Restos up to Sampa. Sampa just caught on his heels, but still manages to keep it alive, but can only give the ball to Eden Hazard now and can uh, Golo Kante up to Morata Hazard back to uh, Kante again out to Lucas Digne Digne into Hazard there's a good little one too Restos should win that it's just gone up in the air not the best clearance in the world from the youngster as uh, Sampa then has a bit of composure goes back to Summer and Villa just need to try and string some passes together here because they're not really getting much of the ball as uh, they play a good ball out to Tierney into Cabezon up to Ag Bon Lahore and then again, given away, and Chelsea are getting numbers back. And Villa just cannot break them down. They may have to revert to a slightly wider formation as Hazard let that runs out for some reason. But yeah, Villa struggling in this game against Chelsea. Always probably should be second best, but maybe they just need to start switching the play a bit quicker. So Munir's got a bit of space. Looks inside to Abraham. Good back heel to Vitinho. Had a shot. And Kepa makes the save. And it's going to have to be a very good shot from distance to beat Kepa. In the Chelsea net as the ball goes forward. As uh, Restos and Morata are wrestling. Morata wins the header and he's played a wonderful pass out just beyond uh, Eden Hazard though. Tierney finds Cabezon who's been a bit of a passenger in this game so far. But he holds this up. Cabezon, he's got a run from Sampa in the middle. Controls it into Vitinho. Vitinho, lovely flick. Oh, and just couldn't get on the end of it. And Digne comes in to clear. Lovely bit of skill that from Vitinho, the new signing. As uh, Aston Villa defensively are now doing okay. They're just struggling to get past Chelsea here. As Vitinho lays it out to Munir. Munir into Sampa. Back to Munir. Back to Sampa again. Trying to move the ball. Cabezon into Vitinho. To Abraham. Abraham is just tackled by Sacco. And Sacco and Van Dijk at the back are being absolute monsters for Chelsea in this game. Like Abraham has had, no, had nothing to work off. They've closed down Vitinho every single time. He's tried to do a bit of trickery and get in behind. But Loftus-Cheek... Out to Willian, and now they just covered the run on the right-hand side. Hazard from range, that's not troubling the goalkeeper. I think that's showing Chelsea's frustrations now with how well uh, Villa are defending. As they, Chelsea, they were very patient. Like Tierney cut off that ball out to the right-hand side, and Hazard shooting from range from there, it's never going to be the best of efforts. And it was a poor pass in midfield from Villa that's given Hazard the chance to break. A shot from range. Again, Eden Hazard loving the shots from range. And Jan Sommer has got a wonderful goal kick on him, which is brilliant to have. It can launch counter-attacks 
really, really well. And here is one going now. Cabezon finds himself in a bit of space. He pulls the defender out. Vitinho, he's in acres. It's a great block again from Van Dijk. As Cabezon's beaten in the air by William. And it's just a game of counter-attacking. But the ref saw that Morata had given that away and brings it back for the Chelsea free kick with William and Cabezon challenging in the air. William got there first. Cabezon just literally karate kicked him in the knee. Oh, and Eden Hazard's been put through with a lovely chip. Willian's in space in the middle. Hazard goes on his own too and Zabie gets the block in. And two things about this game so far. One, Eden Hazard's obviously quite desperate to score. Three things. One, Eden Hazard's desperate to score. Two, Van Dijk and Sacco are absolute monsters at the back. And three, N'Golo Kante is absolutely everywhere as Hazard heads that over the bar. But yeah, N'Golo Kante is sniffing out literally every single attack that I have in the middle of the park. So I'm going to try and play wider to try and go round him. But I still don't think uh, he's just so good. I don't think it's going to really work. I mean, look at him there chasing the ball already everywhere it goes. So let's just be a bit more sensible. Oh, that's not sensible. Tierney does win that header. And then Cabezon flicks it round the corner into Tierney. Loftus Cheek gets a good foot in. Tierney recovers well, though, into Cabezon. Cabezon looks to go all the way out wide to El Ghazi. Gets there. El Ghazi holds this up. Sergo Sampa back to El Ghazi, into Manir, back to El Ghazi again. Big switch of play on if he can find him, he does. Agbonlahor just knocks it back to Tierney. He runs onto the ball at pace, leaves it behind somewhat. But uh, Agbonlahor infield to Cabezon. Cabezon round the corner. Vitinho, Abraham, there's the goal. We finally get one past Kepper, Van Dijk and Sacco. As Abraham brings out the celebration we know and love. Vitinho with the assist. And there we go. Abraham gets another goal. It was good work here from Agbonlahor into Cabezon. Cabezon's been so quiet. It's about time he did something. Vitinho, lovely flick. And Abraham saw Kepa going the wrong way or putting his body weight to his right or his left. And Abraham stuck it into his right-hand side. And it is 1-0 Aston Villa. And now this defensive or more defensive formation should play out pretty well for us. As Hazard keeps that in, up to Morata. Morata put under pressure. Morata's got in behind. Willian's made a great run into the box. And Tuan Zabie's there to cut it out. And uh, we're just going to get this up the pitch. There we go. Just before the halftime mark, Abraham comes back to haunt his old club. As I've just realised that Sommer's back of his shirt says Oma. So we'll have to correct that one. But look at that. Chelsea dominating the shots. But we've had the possession. But the main statistic is that we go in up at halftime 1-0. And the second half gets underway. No changes for either team. No tactical changes, it looks like, either for... For either of the teams. Sampa plays it to El Ghazi. Villa have come out looking like they're going to start very well here. Vitinho was tracked. He was tracked very well by Loftus Cheek. And uh, they hold on just a bit, all the way back to Kepo. And Chelsea, they're going to build from the back. It goes long, looking for Morata. Retzos wins that header into Abraham. Just flicked it around the corner. Up to Agbonlahor. Agbonlahor finds Vitinho, but it's overrun into Abraham. Abraham looks to return the favour. Oh, he's missed! Vitinho's missed. I thought that was a wonderful move. Kepper came out to try and snuff that pass out and got completely wrong-footed. Agbonlahor here into Cabezon to the Abraham. And look at Kepper's nowhere in Ah, oh, Vitinho. It's an open goal, lad. You've got a score. So Agbonlahor with a very poor touch. It's given the ball to William, who lays it off to Azpilicueta. The ball comes in from deep. That's a fantastic header from Restos. And now there is a chance to break here. Vitinho, oh, he's... Just got a touch at the defender. Agbonlahor couldn't get there first. Morata could be in. He's gone round the tackle of Retzos. And then shoots. And Jan Sommer again with a fantastic save. And quick out. Kick. Quick kick out. Fatinho does well to get there in front of the defender. Munir sees El Ghazi making a run forward into Abraham. Abraham back on. Oh, Sergei Samba, I thought I just got that round. As now William lays it back to Loftus Cheek. And William's gone again. We just need to track that. Two and Zabie does. And uh, Aston Villa get the chance to rebuild from the back. Agongolo Kante took a quick throw. And I don't think his own team were ready for it, to be honest. Because it just gave possession straight back to Villa. And now we are sitting in a pretty good defensive shape. And we don't really have to force anything. We can just keep the ball and wait for the pockets of space to open up. A bit like that. It was a risky pass. Tierney sees the run of Agbonlahor. Who, has he, got, he hasn't got the strength to get past Azpilicueta, the youngster. And uh, Chelsea will look to break. And Morata's put under pressure. That's a foul from Retzos. I'll take that. I'm not too worried about a foul like that. Because it just gives them... It slows the tempo down. They can take our time. We can get back in shape. 
and uh, we'll see what Chelsea do from here. Are they going to take this one short? And Golo Kante stands over it. He goes long looking for Morata, who tried the overhead. Hazard with a shot. And Sommer cleans it up nicely. And I might regret throwing that out. I have regretted throwing that out. I should have kicked it. Morata turns, finds Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek. Oh, Morata's made a great run too. And Zabie tries to get a block in. He went for the placement and Sommer was equal to the shot. And this is what I mean. Jan Sommer keeps us in games at the moment. Very, very well. It's a good crossfield ball from Agbon Lahore into El Ghazi. Sampa, Sergei Sampa could be in. He's not going to have the pace to get away from Van Dijk. But Munir is there. He holds it up. Oh, Digny gets a good foot in. And uh, Sampa now has to track back. Morata holds it up for Chelsea. Back to Eden Hazard. El Ghazi's in there again. Sampa, who's having a very good game. He's already having a much bigger impact this season as El Ghazi gets into a bit of space. Now, El Ghazi's just going to try and... Make some space here. He finds Munir. Munir flicks this in. Abraham's in front of his man. And he heads it in at the near post. And he gets two against his old club. And Tammy Abraham could be sending Aston Villa through to the third round of the FA Cup. El Ghazi did well just to hold this up. Create a little bit of space with some good footwork. And that gave him time to find out Munir. Saw Abraham got in front of Azpilicueta. And Abraham makes it 2-0 Chelsea. Now this is exactly how... The game went in the league and Chelsea came back and upped their game and got two late goals. Now, Villa, playing more defensively already in this formation, need to hold on and not make any silly mistakes. As William has the ball, 1-2 with Azpilicueta. Loftus cheeks move forward and uh, he's going to look to get this cross and he finds Morata. Defender dives in and once again, Jan Sommer keeps us in it. He's looking every bit of value at the moment for that £12 million that we paid. We're going to give uh, Sergei Sampa a little bit longer. And then I think it might be time for McGinn just to try and solidify that central midfield with some fresh legs. As William just draws Hazard in close and then probably won't use him now. Looks to dink it in. Al Bonglehor beaten in the air by Morata. It's an easy catch for Sommer. Who's going to look to launch early. Abraham brings that down well with a good touch. Into Sampa. Sampa into Vitinho. Vitinho over to Al Bonglehor who should... Have some pace, but Encanto stays Encanto stays with him. Abraham looks to give it back to Vitinho. Sacco covers it well. Kepa slips as he makes that clearance. Cabezon's there. Abraham looking to Agbon Lahore. It goes back to Kepa again, who this time puts his foot through it a lot better. Loftus Cheek got onto the end of Morata's flick on William. Back into Morata too, and Davy tries to block it. I don't know if the defender got a touch, but I think it is time for some fresh legs. So Agbon Lahore is going to be replaced by Green. On the left wing. The youngster Gabby has had a good game. The ball came in from Willian here. Morata with a shot. He's just fired it wide. Good pressure from Two and Zabi, But Chelsea is still still putting us under a lot of pressure. And I just hope we can hold out. This is good football from Villa. Vitinho finds Manure. Manure. Manure? Manure? His name's not Manure. 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 There's another one that you can uh, leave a comment about how bad my pronunciation is. So, Digny comes forward with the ball into Tu and Zabi with a great tackle. Sergei Sampa up to Abraham into Vitinho. Flicks it out to El Ghazi, who's got a bit of space. El Ghazi, can he just accelerate away from Digny? He's trying. Puts a ball in. Abraham with a header. It's going to have to be a fantastic header to score from there. And Kepa holds on with an easy save. Eden Hazard looks to get in behind. Restos has been pulled out of central defence. But he is there to cover. And this is what I mean. Aston Villa defensively in this game have been very good. They started a bit frosty, but they've given that away. Morata's in. Oh, my God. That's a terrible tackle from Two and Zabi. And William puts it past the post, which means it's going to come back for a dangerous free kick. And Two and Zabi picks up a yellow card. That could be a worry. Morata's down holding his shin. And it's probably going to be Eden Hazard. The referee calls the physio on. As Morata took this touch to Nzebi. I was trying to get the block in. It's a terrible tackle. You could argue it's a goal scoring opportunity as well. To Nzebi lucky to stay on the pitch now. Willian is lining up over this. Not Hazard. And he's hit it straight into the wall. He gets a second chance. And the deflection fires it past the post. And uh, it's time for another substitution. Sergei Sampa to replace by McGinn in central midfield. We'll get the young Scotsman on. As it looked like Sampa lent in with his elbow there or his shoulder to try and maybe give that away. And the train is being used by Chelsea. Willian to flick this in. The ball comes in. McGinn is beaten in the air by Loftus-Cheek. But it's a poor header. It goes over the bar. And uh, it was a good, good corner. Again, a header from that distance is going to have to be a bullet header 
to beat any goalkeeper. Cab is on Rob's loftus cheek in the middle of the park, and there is a chance of a counter attack now. He has Abraham in the middle into Vitinho. Good run outside him again from Cabezon, who uses green, the fresh legs. He's got Abraham in the middle, looking for that hat-trick. Abraham knocks... Oh, he tried to knock it back because he wouldn't have been able to get the shot off of that angle. And Chelsea have replaced the injured Morata with Olivier Giroud. As Sacco, Dalla's on the ball. But gets it out to Azpilicueta now. Back to Sacco and Chelsea looking to build this up from the back slowly. Ten minutes to go. 2-0 Villa. That's a terrible pass. And McGinn picks it up. And he comes forward. Looks for the run of Vitinho who just oh, he tried to do a little drag back to create some space. But that's a terrible pass. Green knocks it into Abraham, who turns to face the goal. Puts it in. Vitinho lays it back. Green, oh, he took an extra touch. Tried to get it onto his right favoured foot as Giroud puts in Hazard. Summer's going to come a long way. He's in Hazard, chips it over him. And it could be happening again. 85th minute and Hazard has made it 2-1. Oh, no. Sommer was just, his acceleration off his line was too slow. Two ends, AB slow to react. Hazard came through. Sommer came rushing out. And it's a lovely dink over him. Oh, and it's 2-1. 2-1 to Villa. They just need to hold on. Five more minutes. That is all that's needed. Oh, and two ends, AB's been robbed by Olivier Giroud, who put him under a great high pressure. Giroud holds on. Gives it in to Willian. Willian looks for the cross. He's found Azpilicueta. What a save from Sommer. It was straight at him, but he got his body behind it. And uh, Munir's been done by Hazard. The ball comes back in Giroud. And it's 2-2. From 2-0 up again against Chelsea. It's 2-2. And Giroud, who is up there in the leading goal scoring charts in the Premier League. Oh, Munir gets done by Hazard on the wing. I mean, it's a good goal. It's a good goal and it's 2-2. That's a great save. Azpilicueta found himself up. Munir didn't have the strength to beat Hazard. But Hazard with that little turn there completely did me. And Giroud isn't going to miss a header from there against Kieran Tierney. And Nathan Ake comes on. Resigned from Bournemouth, Nathan Ake. Oh, and it's 2-2. So Villa know they've got it all to do again now. But also getting it into extra time. Would be a pretty decent result because Chelsea have the momentum. That will be Sommer's ball in goal. Right, there's a very quick kick on out to the wide here. El Ghazi just lays it back to McGinn. McGinn into Vitinho. Lots of space for Green. But it's a terrible pass. And players are starting to look very fatigued. And Chelsea's fitness is pulling through. Giroud with a shot. Oh, my word. He scored from range. And it's 3-2 to Chelsea. Olivier Giroud has come on and changed the game. And he celebrates with the crowd, also with a man that doesn't have a body, which is quite impressive. The Chelsea fans go crazy. Olivier Giroud, what a finish this is. Willian just picked him off, laid it off, and he's hit this. First time, curled it past Jan Sommer, who's had a great game in off the inside of the post. It's an unbelievable goal from Olivier Giroud. And he's just hit it perfectly, absolutely perfectly. And now Aston Villa are going to have to make a change. Let's go. Come on. We've got, what, injury time to get a goal? Cab is on jogs off to be replaced by Timothy Weir. Probably should go two up front now. There is literally not much time left. Green. Oh, he's, Green's giving it away to Kante straight away. And heads are down. Momentum has gone. Chelsea know all they've got to do is just hold on. And uh, Giroud gets it again. He keeps the ball as well. But now they need to launch. There's not enough time. Olivier Giroud, 85, 90 and 91. And I thought we were going through to the second round of the third round, sorry, of the FA Cup. 23 shots Chelsea had. They peppered Jan Sommer's goal. And Olivier Giroud comes on and claims man of the match. Ah, so then here we go. Brighton and Hove Albion at the Amex Arena. Well, the Amex American Express Community Stadium. Uh, Aston Villa are away to Brighton. Grealish, you can see the names there on the back of the shirts. We've got a much stronger lineup for this one. I'm not saying our lineup against Chelsea is weak. Well, the Villa fans are going absolutely crazy on the fence at the Amex. Two and Zabi keeps his place as Captain Chester comes in next to him because Retzos is suspended for this game. Sommer keeps his place in goal. We have Lucia Botton at right back. 
Um, we have Tierney at left back. Klassen and Grealish in the middle. Tammy Abraham takes up a spot at left wing. Sotolido comes in at right wing and nearly gets the ball straight away. And Timothy Weir starts up front. In behind Grealish and Klassen in the holding midfield role is McGinn. So Villa going back to a 4-3-3 for this game to try and take the game to Brighton and Hove Albion. Aston Villa thinking they're the stronger team in this fixture. So uh, Lucien Bonnet, here he comes from right back. If your first time, you're really going to see him in a performance. And probably Saltado as well, as Grealish looks to find him, but uh, just can't feed that ball through. As Grealish comes over to track Stephen to McGinn in that holding midfield role, doing very well. Now, Davy Klassen has got Abraham outside him, into Weir, back to McGinn, who finds Klassen. Klassen just holds it up pretty well. Lucien Bonnet. Turns back inside to McGinn. McGinn up to Grealish. Into Weir. To the Weir. Oh, it's a great save from Ryan. Matt Ryan in goal. I think, I assume they've still got Matt Ryan in goal. But yeah, Timothy Weir very unlucky with that effort there. As uh, Lucien Bonnet will take the throw. In to Grealish. Grealish looks to go back to McGinn. But Locadia, or Locadia gets there first. All the way back to Duffy. Oh, I thought Weir had that. But Brighton just about get away with it. So Locadia has... Time to turn, but he's wrestled out of it by Jack Grealish, who now comes forward. Jack Grealish got a lot of space to run into. He's, Weir's made a good dummy run for him, but he gives him the ball. Back to Grealish. Just has to go back to McGinn for the time being. There's a lot of space out on the wing. Into Seltado. Lucien Bonner chips the ball in. Weir with a header. Oh, and it's a great save from Matt Ryan. Uh, Timothy Weir was offside anyway, but I thought he'd just loop this over Ryan. But it's a great save, but a good defensive line from Brighton. Keeps it at nil-nil. With Weir's effort offside. Solly March finds Martin Montoya on the right-hand side. Looks to feed that through to Lagardia, But he's tracked very well by Tu and Xavier. Now is their chance to launch a counter-attack here. Klassen has a lot of space to run into. He's taking a little bit of a heavy touch. But still manages to get it into Weir's feet. Weir holds it up well. Uses his strength. Abraham looks for Grealish. Grealish has got a runner alongside him. Which is the right-back, Lucien Bonnet. Who gets that poor clearance back into Weir. Weir... Looks to get it around the corner to Abraham, but just all a little bit congested. And Chester had to win that and didn't. And now he's being pulled out of position a little bit, but Brighton can't really take advantage of that. And they go back to Kyle and then out to Bernardo and look to build it up with some, some neat passing. Not really getting them anywhere, though. Is Cuerdo on the left hand side? Back to Kyle. Brighton still keeping this possession very well. Again, they're not really doing too much with it, but into Lacardia, who turns away from the defenders, finds Is Cuerdo. Is Guerrero gets it back from Stevens. He's trapped by Bonnet. Ball in and Sommer will wrap that up all day. And then finds Klassen. Who puts a good ball first time to Grealish. Now Grealish has got a lot of space to run into here. He's still going Jack Grealish. Nice little stop and turn. Gives it back to Tierney. He's got Abraham out wide. Into Klassen. Oh, it's a poor pass from Tammy Abraham. Just couldn't make the most of it. And then Klassen trying to press high. But he doesn't really have the fitness to keep that up. So he just lets Brighton have the ball at the back. Chester intercepts. Poor pass from KL. Back to Klassen. In to McGinn. Now McGinn just sees a good run out on the wing. But it was a poor pass. And Bernardo intercepted it. And Aston Villa looked to recycle the possession. Now McGinn has got a time and space to pick a good pass. Klassen is fouled. I thought that was a fair tackle. I was going to say Klassen was robbed. But he's not. He's fouled. Now the issue we have is that since we sold Kabai... We don't actually have anyone that is... I was going to say very good at free kicks. No, nope, I take that back. Lucien Bonnet can can really hit them. So, can he stick this one in for his first goal from the club? It's up. Oh, it just didn't come down enough. Put a little bit too much power into it. Got it up over the wall, but just couldn't stick it down. It looked like Ryan had it covered as well. But uh, as the first real attempt on goal... In this game. And that sort of sums it up. Abraham into Klassen. Klassen looks for Weir up the line again. It's just that final ball. Something, something not quite right here with Aston Villa. The uh, the team aren't really working together. The chemistry has dropped off somewhat. With all the changes that have been made in the offseason. But I'm confident in the guys to, to sort out the situation and pick it up. Now that's good possession football. Brings in Lucien Bonnet again. Who's a very tall player. And... We can maybe give Aston Villa the height they need from set pieces and stuff. As a class and Buzz put it into Weir. I didn't think it was going to get there. Grealish back to McGinn. McGinn looks to flick it up to Grealish again. But uh, didn't quite get there. Chester keeps it alive and has ventured forward from centre-back. Looks to pick out Klassen who gets above Montoya. Down to Weir. What a save from Ryan. And then he's tried to fire that in low. 
What a save that is from Matt Ryan. We are hit that very well on the knockdown from Klassen. And uh, James Chester put a lovely ball in here. Klassen get above Montoya. And it's not, it's just hit the post. Oh, I thought Matt Ryan made a great save, but we're very unlucky to hit the post there. Right, now, what I actually want is I want uh, Bonnet to be in there, and I want it to be an in-swinger from Tierney. So there is some height in there. Bon Lucian Bonnet and Tu and Zabi can go up there to join the attack. So hopefully, yeah, they're just making a change now. So he should be in. I think that's him at the front post. So we're going to try and just dink this in towards the front post. It's gone up in the air. Ryan gets a touch. Bonnet knocks it back. Maybe Klassen has got time and space here. Well, lines up a shot. Oh! Just fizzes past the post from Davy Klassen. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Davy Klassen. I know it's, da it's yeah, Davy Klassen, yeah. But uh, Lucien Bonnet headed it back to him. Could have hit it first time. Had enough time to take a couple of touches. Just went past the post. Matt Ryan scrambling across his goal to get there. Ten minutes to go in the first half and it's nil-nil. And it's still not been a that, that much of a thriller. Solly March feeds it into Lacardia. Puts it back around to Davy. Proper good save from Sommer just about. Just about gets proper shot. Or oh, proper, proper down past the post. It was good here. Solly March did well to hold this up. And then Lucardia saw the run. And proper got in. Hit it first time. And Sommer with a great save, to be fair. Again, he's been such a good purchase this season. As uh, Bonnet has just let his man go. McGinn's going to have to cover the short. And it goes into Solly March. Solly March looks for Klassen. That's really easy for the defence to get away. And uh, Weir comes away. He's fouled. But Sotoledo... Play the advantage, ref. I'm running at, running right at the defence. Book him if you're going to stop the game there. He's not booked him. He gives him a talking to. And that has frustrated the manager. He's going apoplectic on the sideline. And then from that, my rage, I've given the ball away straight to Lacardia, which is very annoying. He's now got a through ball. Two and Zabie gets in there well. And uh, Aston Villa will look to build again. Up it goes. Into Klassen's feet. Klassen looks into Grealish. They just haven't connected those two in this game. Two and Zabi is forced out of position, but does well to cover it. And uh, Weir will knock this back to Klassen. Klassen to McGinn. McGinn into T and his feet. There's not been enough of this sort of passing from Villa today as the ball hits the referee. But uh, it doesn't affect the game too much. Lucian Bonnet out to Soltodo. Again, it's just poor. The touching and the passing. It's so poor in today's game. And this is Brighton. What, we played against Chelsea and played really, really well. And then in this game, we just cannot string two passes together. It's absolutely abysmal. And Villa need to sort something out. They, I don't know what it is or who they need to bring on. But McGinn to Grealish. Out to Klassen. Klassen looks for Abraham. Abraham into Weir. Weir. Round to the corner to Klassen who gets a shot off. And again, it's just past the post. And it's just not happening. It's just not happening for Villa in this game. Klassen had to... I think if he, he just had to recorrect his feet here to get this shot. And... It made it harder for the opportunity, but something isn't right in this Villa team. In this Villa lineup in today's game, something isn't right. McGinn has been pulled out of position. Solly March looks to come forward. Brighton now looking to attack just before the halftime mark. Tierney reads that well and puts it up towards Abraham, but it's nil nil at half time. It's been a terrible, terrible game. Neither team really taking control. I mean, they've had one shot, one on target, two shots on target in 45 minutes. Is pretty abysmal. So Brighton and Hove Albion make a substitution knockout coming on for Solly March. Is Quiedo has got in from that loose pass straight away. He's taken out by Chester. The referee plays advantage. KO with a shot from range. But yeah, not a good start from Aston Villa. They just look nervous. The players can't look nervous. McGinn giving it away there. Simple pass from kickoff. James Chester picks up a yellow for that horrible tackle on Isquiedo. But it's just not happening for Villa today. There's been a tactical change and they've gone to a diamond formation now. As uh, let's play this short up to two and Xavier. Diamond formation pushing Klassen slightly higher. Abraham has gone up front with Weir, who now that's led some space for Jack Grealish in this left midfield role. Can he keep that in? He does. Just about keeps that in. Looks to cut back onto his right foot. Lays it back to Tierney. Into Klassen. Up to Abraham. Referee, that's a foul. Here we go. This could be the opportunity. It hasn't come from open play. We may need to take this chance during a set piece now. Who's the short piece? The short piece set to the short set piece taker. It's still Lucio Mone. It's a bit closer. This could be the opportunity. We're just trying to get Klassen out of the way. That's it. It moves that big guy out of the back as well. Lucio Bonnet gets it over the wall. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar, and Matt Ryan holds on to the rebounds. It's just not happening for Villa today. It's really not. 
as uh, it goes out to Martin Montoya, up to Nokar. I mean, we've been lucky that Brighton haven't really created any chances because going forward, we've been terrible. Lucardi has got in behind, brings it down. Great save again from Sommer. He is, I mean, we're only into like the second month of the season, but signing of the season, I think so. I really think so because he's been absolutely incredible. Oh my God, what am I doing? Chester against Lucardi had to win that one and did. And then Tuan Zabi flicks it out to Grealish. Inside to Kieran Tien. He made a sensible run infield. Abraham to Klassen. On it goes to Weir. Back to Klassen. Klassen is just hounded out of it. They're putting us under so much pressure, Brighton. And I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in the team. I'm disappointed in the players. I mean, McGinn, on a, he's on an up blue arrow. And he has been absolutely shocking. This should be his best way that he can perform in this game and he is just not impressed and I don't mean that to be horrible about the Scottish guys because I know someone jokes about that in the comments but uh, he really has now watch him go and score an absolute screamer although he's not got to that that's a terrible shot from proper right can we launch a quick counter we've got two men up there now so we should we just can't get hold of the ball no matter what we do and this has got you know, I was going to say we've been wasting chances. We haven't really had any chances. You can hear it, I think, in my voice. How frustrated I'm getting in this game. As uh, Izquierda comes forth. People say it's just a computer game. Lucario, Lucario's force wide. Chester does well. That should be a Aston Villa goal kick, I think. Because it had a double deflection. It did. I'm just... We've been playing an hour, nearly. I think we're going to look to make a change in a minute. Uh, maybe a bit more pace. I don't know. I don't really know who we can bring on in this situation. Klassen's got himself into a little bit of space in the middle. Back to McGinn. Up it goes. I mean, McGinn, come on! That's a simple 10-yard pass. As uh, Tierney did well to not just fly into that tackle. Here we go. Right, Klassen. McGinn finds Soteldo. Soteldo looks for Abraham. That's asking a lot of the player. That's my fault, that one. That is my fault. As Martin Montoya is put under good pressure. It's a foul. McGinn's going to be replaced by Cabezon. He just hasn't impressed me today. He's given the ball away. Um, I'm just... Yeah, not happy. Not happy with the performance. Not happy with the players. It's not just McGinn. It's it's everybody. It's everybody today. Um, I'm making bad decisions in this game. That Chelsea game has really affected us, I think. And it's got spirits down as proper. It fell to him nicely. He shoots, but he's never going to beat Jan Sommer from there. And uh, I'm sorry if this episode goes on for a little bit longer than normal as well. I don't know if you guys like the longer episodes, but I'm just I'm getting so frustrated. It's just easier for me to talk about my frustrations. As we play, as uh, it goes back. And then Soteldo makes the run. Come on, you're meant to be quick. You're meant to be fast. You're a little midget. Nippy, skillful midget. That's why I've brought you in. Lucien Bonnet to Soteldo. Bonnet swings in a pass. Looking for Abraham. Oh. I think he was offside anyway. I think they've given offside. Yeah, just his chest is offside. But it's a great effort from Abraham. Maybe that's it. We just need to chuck balls in the box. Something I'm considering as well in the January window is to go and get a big sort of target man striker who's not necessarily quick but gives us a different option when we need it. Um, because I've got three strikers who are all very similar in uh, Abraham, Weir and Giuseppe Rossi. They're all the quick little nimble players, which is good. Abraham does have a bit of height to him as uh, we get a free kick for their own class. But yeah, I'm just thinking like a, a Giroud, a Maratta sort of player. I mean, we're never going to get someone that's that good because we're still, we're still fellow. We're our first league in the Premiership, but our first season in the Premiership, but... Yeah, let me know. Let me know who you think we should go and get. If you're enjoying the series, even though I'm getting frustrated in this video, please do let me know as uh, Tierney does actually get into some space. Whips across in, looking for Weir. Oh, I thought it was going to fall to him. Cabezon can't get that off Stevens, And now Brighton looks to come forward. And Cabezon tracks back well. Now Pro Proper has been put into a good position here. Two and Zabie covers that very well. Back to Sommer. It's Cabezon. Oh, by the way, Nyland, Nyland hasn't played since he did that mistake against Liverpool. Now, call that harsh. But you can't be having your goalkeepers make mistakes like that. Abraham's made a great run. Oh, but Klassen just couldn't pick it out. So unlucky. That's... At least we're making those forward runs. We've gone up to a slightly more attacking system now. As uh, Tierney wins that header down to Grealish. Grealish gets it back from Knockart. Looks to put it into Abraham. Flicks it on one more to Klassen. He looks to... Ah! So a Tade comes on to replace Klassen. Uh, Grealish pushes back up into attacking midfield and Atade comes on at left wing. Still playing in the diamond formation. Let's see if that can make the difference that Villa need as Cabezon looks to hold the ball. Tierney gets Atade a nice early touch of the ball since he's on. Abraham back to Cabezon. 
Cabbage on into Grealish. Grealish, good back heel. Finds Abraham over the top looking for Weir. It's just headed away from him and it's a corner. So what can we do here? Lucian Bonnet, I don't want you taking it. Let's get uh, a Tade who's just come on and can take the set piece. Lots of tall players in the middle looking for an in-swinger to try and challenge. Abraham gets up. Oh, he doesn't quite beat Bernardo in the air. And proper just completes the clearance. And I mean, oh, it's been frustrating as hell this game. And it stems off the back of a very frustrating defeat. It's two and Zabi. I mean, what, what am I thinking with that? Why am I thinking two and Zabi can play that pass? As Grealish tries to bundle his way through, Matt Ryan just puts his foot through that. And again, I apologise if it's been a longer episode, but I think you can feel the frustration in my voice. As Anthony Knockart gets the wrong side of Tierney, Tierney's got a track back. Knockart just holds it up. Trying to create a bit of space. Finds Proper. Proper and Tuanzebe gets a foot in. And it's a corner to Brighton. I'm worried. I'm worried. I really am worried. Proper will take it. Puts it in. Oh my god. But I thought Lucien Bonnet had just forgotten his man. Right. Let's go. Soteldo. It's a three on four situation. It's in Brighton's favour. But we can work this. We're into Abraham. Abraham finds a Tade. This is good. Come on. That's age. Use your acceleration. You've just come on. Ball in. Looking for where. Oh, he just doesn't have the height. He does not have the height. Grealish into Cabezon. There's spaces starting to open up. Abraham finds Atade. Atade looks to dink this one in. Cabezon gets on the end of it. Ryan makes the save. And Dunk just goes for the safety first approach. Now, an interesting substitution is happening here. Kuzmin, the right back, comes on for Timothy Weir to make his debut. The youngster comes on. Kuzmin at right back and that is going to be a change in shape because they're going to put the big man Lucien Bonnet up top. He's tall, he's got a lot of effort in the air and then a Tade back to Grealish. Grealish into Abraham. Abraham, Lucien Bonnet, he's there! Oh, it fell to the right back and Ryan makes the save but he's up there now. He'll be up there for the corner. He's, oh, stop, stop having him taking it, bloody hell. I need to change the default options, I think. There's uh, a Tade. We'll look to swing this in. In it goes. Looking for Cabizon, who gets up, but is beaten in the air. It's a foot race between Tierney and Lacadia. Tierney should win that and does. So, Kuzmin, the youngster, all the way back to two and Zabi. What can Villa do here? Time is running out. Grealish into Abraham. Referee! Referee! He's caught his foot. Two and Zabi brings it down well to a Tade. Referee! Plays an advantage. Referee! How many of these fouls are you not going to give? Lacardia. Oh, my word. They've worked that really well. Tierney's got to get back. It's proper. Proper. Goes forth a little bit wide. It still goes wide. He's got Lacardia in the middle. And I think this shows that Brighton are happy with a nil-nil because that was a perfect opportunity to push forward as Kyle looks to get it in. Tierney with a good header. Two and Zabi. Up to goodness. Hit from Kerr. Oh, I thought Sommer would save that and just hold on. But he didn't. As uh, Kuzmin just puts his foot through it. Up to Soteldo now. Lucien Bonnet. Good ball out to Atade. Atade. Now, come on. Let's have some runners. Let's have some runners, people. Oh, and it's just been given away again. It's been such a frustrating game as Lacardia looks to hold on to this. Right, Kuzmin. Let's go long looking for the big man. He's gone wide looking for the midget in Soteldo. Terrible pass. And it's gone over the top. Chester heads it back. Kuzmin's there again. Puts his, tries to put his foot through it, but can't. Nil-nil against Brighton. That is shocking. Sorry for that noise of me hitting the table. I'm so annoyed with myself, with the players, with the team. Oh, it's very rare I get like this about computer games, but that was frustrating. Lucien Bonnet getting man of the match after his little cameo up front. It's going to affect our league standing as well. We need to get 11th and we're in... We need to get 9th and we're in 11th. I mean, a win can still take us up to 4th, so luckily results seem to have gone in our favour. Kuzmin uh, makes there with Timothy Weir. Was given the nickname calling him Mr. Intelligence. Okay, that's a shocking nickname. Next game is Watford. We'll have a look at the schedule and see when we'll be back for. So Kuzmin is a youth prospect because he's come through. We're trying to negotiate lots of new contracts. It looks like El Ghazi doesn't want to sign a new contract, which is a little bit annoying. So I would quite like to keep him. We haven't got that much money left to play around with. I'll go and do all of them offline in a minute. Schedule-wise... After the Watford and Leicester games, we'll be back for the game against Wolves and then Palace because we have to play Wolves and then we'll probably be back for Man United, maybe Spurs. I don't know. It's all getting it's all getting very tight in this game, in this series now. We're struggling a little bit 
are struggling a little bit in the Premier League. It's just baking, breaking teams down and trying really hard to get through them. But thank you very much for watching. Next week's videos might be a little bit hit or miss about when they come out. I've got a friend staying with me all week here in Singapore. So obviously I'll be out and about showing him the sights, going out for drinks with him. So I'm not too sure about videos next week. If you're enjoying the series, please leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think we should do with the team. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy it. I really That was a frustrating episode, but I really enjoy it making this series, interacting with you guys on all the comments you leave on the video. Leave a like. We're still going for a 50 like. Uh, 50 likes on every video is the like target we're heading for. Thank you very much for watching. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.